if there's one video that's super popular on my channel, it's the full walk around of my Sentra. Which shows you guys really enjoyed it. So with that being said, I figured I'd give you guys part two, Boosted Edition. What's up guys and welcome back to Worldwide B15. If you haven't subscribed, please take a minute to do that and like this video and also share it. Now, before we start, we must go over the list of the old video. All right, so we're gonna be going over this list pretty quick since it's an old list. All right, follow me. Now, the first one is going to be the Mega Brand uh, I think I, it's called Mega Brand and Style One. It's a four inch and it's still there. It's still doing good. Sounds great. I can't complain. All right, next one up is the four in one headers. Unfortunately, I don't have one right now, obviously because I went to a turbo setup, but at least it gets mentioned in this list. So next up is the OBD Elm Reader and that's still in the old one took a crap, but I bought a new one and it's still there. It's very good for when you need to read codes on the fly, erase, whatever. It's a great item to have. Next two items is the accelerator, pedal switch, and the Hitachi throttle body. Now, obviously those things are still going to be in. Those haven't changed. Next up, you already know, is the Alteza style headlights. They're still in there. I love them to death. Um, I would not change them unless they go bad and I have to change them, which if that happens, I still have another nice style waiting to be swapped in, if anything. So next up on the list is the Katana shifter and that is still on the car. So next up on the list is the sun visors and as you see, they're still in the car. Next up is the Nismo style antenna, and as you see, it's still in the car. Next up on the list is the rocker switches. Now, they're still there, but only one. Unfortunately, the underglows went bad, so I had to, I had to literally just rip them off and, and not run them for a while. But I will be rocking some pretty soon. All right, so next up is the interior dome light. They're still in and still red. Next up on the list that is still on is the polyurethane lip. And as you see, still on. I gotta treat it a little, give it some plastic restore, but still there and holding up. So if you notice the white canards that I made up for the car, they are not there. One day I was in the highway and I heard a bunch of noise under the car, like something broke and next thing you know, I got, got off and it was one of them. So I just decided to take both of them off. And if anything, I'll just create some in the near future. So next up is the white DTW wheels, which are discontinued. And as you see, they are no longer in the car right now. And that's because for the longest, I've been trying to get them powder coated or painted, and I haven't been able to do that just yet. So I thought I'd just rock the stock ones and paint them white myself. And obviously they are not doing that great because the sun is eating the crap out of the paint and the clear coat. But this is what I have and currently running. So I'm pretty sure you noticed that there's quite a few stuff that I didn't mention. And obviously that's due to the changes, which we are going to be talking about. Now with the old list out of the way, let's move on to the new one. All right, so the new list. The first two things I'm gonna be talking about is obviously the turbo. 
It's a Rev9 TX 50E slash 57, and it's a four bolt on this side, obviously for the downpipe. The next thing on the list is going to be the four bolt, two and a half inch downpipe, which is from Threatstone. So another thing from the old list I didn't mention was the radiator, and obviously it was because it was stock, and this time around it has been changed. I have a Mishi motor radiator, all right, another thing that I didn't mention on the old list is the headlights, and obviously because they were changed, I have Spec D headlights. They were actually used, but I was uh, just chilling in the junkyard one day, and I seen them, and I had to just grab them. But they look very good, pretty much brand new, and can't complain, they, they look good. All right, so next thing on the list is going to be the intercooler piping, um, which is pretty much custom made completely is a 2.5 all the way through and then the intake for the turbo is actually a three inch another thing that i did not mention that was on the list previously is the catch can and obviously because it has been changed but now i want to show you guys how custom made and the route that i went with this intercooler piping so if you come closer this is the route that I took. So from the throttle body, I came all the way through and down, which this is pretty typical, it's the normal way. And then here, we did like a little sort of a bend here that makes it very unique. But now from the, this side down here, usually they come, through, they come down through the other side and have one pipe from each side. But I want it to be more original and then do this come straight ahead, go down. So another thing I forgot to mention on the previous list is the um, cast headers. The cast headers are still on. As you see, I haven't changed that. Um, some of the things I forgot to mention as well is the dress up bolts, they're still around. I did a vacuum plate over here that says SER, that looks pretty neat. And jumping back to the intake pipes, um, they're both, all three actually going this way, which is, gives it a very unique way uh, or look. And then they're going down this way. I had to get rid of this side fog light uh, due to obviously the pipe hitting and you know they go back way too far, but they're both going in like this and then going towards the header. I mean, not the header, sorry about that, the intercooler. And the intercooler has both in and out on this side. Normally you will have an in or out or out and an in, and that's the regular route, but I wanted to be a little bit different. All right, next thing on the list is the wastegate, which was actually used and was from a friend of mine. He sold it to me for a great price and it's in very good condition. So I used it, but as you guys all know, it's hard to see that it's all the way up in there. So I'm not gonna try and show that. Next up is the vacuum block. The vacuum block here um, is feeding to the blow-off valve, which the blow-off valve, I, for some reason, aesthetics and all that stuff, wanted to go with it right here, but it feeds it right here. And of course I'm using that for other stuff as well. Um, the boost gauge and all that stuff that I'll show you guys later on. All right, so we're inside of the car. And one of the other things that has changed in here is the 10.1 inch, um, you know, radio, uh, touchscreen radio that I put in. Um, I think I'm gonna be doing a review now that I've run it for a while now and I got some pros and cons about it. Um, so be looking out for that. Next thing up on the list is the gauges. So going from left to right, you guys already have seen this, but I have the boost gauge, the wide band and the oil pressure. Also, I was previously running the uh, Apex C S A F C two. Um, no longer running it. I took it out. I was trying to connect a, a gritty, yeah, a gritty e-managed blue. It's called. It's old school tech too, 
but um, I had someone or still have someone that's very good with it and can tune awesome with it. Um, he knows it like the back of his hands, but unfortunately some things had to change and I took that off. So right now I'm currently running untuned and still the car is running great. All right, so we finally gone all over the new stuff, the new list, everything that has been added on since the last list. Obviously, there is going to be a lot more changes. This is not where I want to leave the car and I want to do way more upgrades little by little. All right, guys, like, comment and subscribe and peace out.